So, just as it starts to rain, um, this is the uh, last video, and this is the one in the, with the inner, which comes with the Ricky Up 3 in complete, and the pole. Um, just to say a couple of things about the tent. The guy lines don't come with that. I put attached um, a three millimeter Dyneema on there with some line locks, and uh, nor do they come with any shock cord. I just added those shock cords to these extra tie out points here. Um, as you can see, um, the inner um, is very nice design, uh, strong uh, ground sheet, um, and the inner is solid up to here and then you've got mesh there which is good so perhaps you know we've used this uh, Mary and wife and I we used this in um, car camping in California this summer um, it was great uh, we didn't have loads of gear with us because um, you're not going to put too much sort of personal effects in particularly sort of uh, wash kits and stuff like that because of bears but uh, we just uh, slept in that side by side the other side of the pole and it was uh, it was really uh, comfortable. Um, the problem is that um, when it starts to rain rather like this, you've got no porch maybe to cook in, but uh, but you can get round that, and I'll show you how that happens. So what you need to do, and you'll see that the inner in this mode is attached to the fly sheet. So what you need to do is to um, un hook this bit here and detach that so you're detaching the inner and you put the uh, fly there and likewise here detach uh, that let's put the fly back on there and all we've got to do then that's come inside it's starting to rain now um, is to effectively roll that back so although it's not an elegant solution it is a solution and uh, what we can do now is to as it's starting to rain is to put that fly drip up Okay, and we're in there now. That's my feet just to show you the size. And I can fold this back as far as I like, and, and if it was really bad weather, uh, we could um, pop, you open the zip up. And if you, uh, if you um, want to cook inside, you could quite safely. Um, as long as uh, you're careful, like in any tent. Um, just going to move around here, and you'll see that the there is just down here. Um, this comes with ground sheet. There's a, a sort of reinforced patch where you put the pole. I have also added a little thing which I made up myself: peanut butter lid and a piece of foam, which I super glued down and the pole can sit in there protects the sheet and of course if you're um, not using uh, this inner um, as we showed earlier on um, and uh, the pole and you're using the pole rather than the the trekking pole combination um, then we could um, use this uh, to stop the pole sinking so very simple to make um, not elegant, but um, solves a, a problem and actually stops the pole from sinking down um, into soft uh, mud. Um, here's that uh, little uh, hanging um, uh, pocket again. Um, there's plenty of sort of hanging points in here. There's, I think three or four actually. Um, bags of room and I suppose I would take this maybe, um, well, certainly for car camping. And I have taken it with my son um, in the Galloway Hills. Um, and we were able to split it so it wasn't too heavy. And I suppose if you're in the middle of the winter um, and it's cold, you've got this solid, got the solid uh, 
um, inner here and mesh there so you know you could use that in the winter it'd be um, about two kilos but plenty of room uh, to spread out for the long nights and um, obviously you can pull the porch back okay thank you